Hi everyone, welcome to MSCR Makes. I'm Miss Julia and today we're going to be doing bubble prints. For this project you will need some paper. You can use a bowl or a cup for this project. You'll want some food coloring, a straw, I have a reusable one here, and then you'll want either some hand or dish soap like this and some water or if you have pre-made bubble mix, so the kind that you'd buy from the store and blow bubbles with, you can use that instead. You can pause the video here and go gather your supplies. Now that you've had a chance to gather your supplies, I'm going to move some things out of the way. The first thing I'm going to do, because I don't have a pre-made bubble mix, is go ahead and mix some of my dish soap with some water. I'm going to add in about the same amount, maybe a little bit less, of dish soap than I have water. You want the bubble mix to be pretty thick with soap. This way it will hold the bubbles. And you can see as I'm mixing it with the end of my straw, you can see how it's holding bubbles on the surface. That's a good sign that I probably have enough dish soap. If it's not holding bubbles like this while you're mixing it, you probably will need to add more. The next thing I'll do is grab my food coloring and I'm going to add in several drops. You want your bubble and water mixture to be pretty saturated with food coloring or have a lot of color in it so that the bubble prints will show up really well on your paper. So I'll go ahead and mix everything together and I want to make sure to get some of those bubbles off the top too that didn't look like they had much food coloring in them at first. You can see now, especially around like the edges here, how the bubbles look like they're blue. The next thing I'm going to do is take the end of the straw that is not in the liquid and I'm going to blow into it with this part underneath the surface of the bubbles so that I'll get more bubbles and then we'll be able to take our piece of paper, set it down on top of the bubbles and we'll get a print from it. Remember when you're blowing in, if you need to stop and take a breath, take your mouth off of the end of the straw, then take your breath. Don't breathe in or suck in the bubble liquid. It will taste really bad. So I'll go ahead and I'm gonna move this up a little closer and I'll go ahead and blow some bubbles into here. So I have some really big bubbles, some little bubbles. I'll take out my straw. Go ahead and set this down on top. And then when I lift up, you can see some of the bubble prints that I have. You can also use a straw or a fork and just agitate or go really fast and move your bubble water around so that it will get bubbles in it this way too. If you do it this way where you're kind of stirring or you could even use a whisk or a fork, and get more air into your bubbles that way, you'll get smaller bubbles than if you were to blow into it. So I'll do this and then we'll make another print on the same piece of paper, just in a different area. So I'll go ahead and press that down, lift it up, and some of the bubbles even stuck to this one. So you can see here I have smaller bubble shapes and here you can see the larger bubble shapes. And these bubbles will kind of pop, or I can even use my finger to pop them a little bit. And they'll leave behind the print shape. Well, I hope you enjoy getting to make some bubble prints. And you can even use different color and layer up your bubble prints to see what different cool effects you can get. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!